<laughs> All right, so we have solve for y, negative 4x plus y equals negative 2. Um, and in case anyone's stuck, I'm just going to do a really uh, simple example. What if we had negative 4 plus 10 equals, um, well, that would be, that would be 6, right? Yeah. Right. What if we had negative 6 plus 10 and we were solving for 10? What would we do? What, could, what would make sense here? Plus 4. Plus 4, right. And so, it, like, when students get confused on this, it's just the letters, but you all guys need to remember these are just numbers. And if you ever get stuck in algebra, just replace the letters with some nice easy numbers and see if you can solve the thing that way and then go back to the letters. It's actually a good technique for solving any lot of different things in life. But so if I add four to both sides, now negative four plus four is zero and we have 10 equals the six plus the four. So in other words, negative this number plus this number equals this number. Well, if I added this number, then now this number here, the 10 equals this and this. And so that is the exact situation I have here. I want to solve for y, but I've got a negative 4x, which is kind of like a negative 4 times 10, like a negative 40 or something, right? But, but the, the trick is you've got to add 4x to both sides. That's 4x. And now we have y equals negative 2 plus 4x. So it's kind of like over here, we had, we had 6 plus 4, we've got negative 2 plus 4x. Now, I want everyone to write this down another way. Put the 4x on the left and the, the negative 2 on the right, and what does it look like? y equals 4x minus 2. Yep. So the positive 4x goes here, and the minus 2 goes there. And, um, yeah, just that's yeah, it's the same thing. Cool.